Hey Bill, this is Nate with Kick-Ass Marketers. Thanks for reaching out on Facebook and the Pressure Washing Friends group. I wanted to do a quick site review for you. Basically, I want to go over three things that you can do today to help improve your rankings on Google. Kind of a little free attack plan, but the three main things that Google looks for are content, citations, and backlinks, and we'll get into what those are. But first we'll start with the content. They look for about 1,000 to 1,500 words on your home page, and then about 500 to 750 on your back pages. And the reason for that is to be able to have those keywords in there. You know, if somebody types in pressure washing in your area, they want to know that they're sending the people to a site that is relevant to that topic. But, you know, I went through and looked. Your page has about 150 words on it. Um, We've got Portage Power Washing. They've got about 200, 250 on theirs maybe. And then we've got these guys here. Um, they're maybe 400. So it's definitely something that's very easy to beat out. You know, the, the site itself looks great. We just want to get more content in there. The reason for that is for the keywords. This is Arif's, this is a tool that we pay for, but it's showing that you're currently ranking for eight organic keywords, and we can go in and see what those are. And all of those are your company name or your website. So people that are typing that in already know who you are. We want people that don't know who you are to be able to find you. So if we go over here, you know, they're only ranking for three organic keywords. These guys are ranking for 87. So we can take a look and see what their keywords are. Driveway cleaning services, deck cleaning services, portage power washing. Those are the type of keywords that I really like. Keywords that say what you do and where you are. And depending on the size of the city, you know, some of these more generic ones might be okay. But like driveway cleaning services, without having that city on it, this is telling me there's a hundred people a month that search that, but they could be anywhere in the country. So here, Portage Power Wash, which is actually the name of the other company, but they've got 200 people searching that keyword every month. And those are people that are in your area. So these guys are ranked in the 33rd position, so they're really not getting traffic from that keyword. But I'm trying to see if there's any in here that, you know, kind of more location specific. Like, I don't know why these guys want to show up in Augusta, Georgia, but they're there. They're in the 50th spot, so they're not getting anything from it. But for some reason, that is on there, and I don't know, maybe they have more than one location. But we really want to look for the, I call them generic keywords, but what you do, power wash and where you are, Portage. Those are the type of keywords we want to try to find. And I've got lots of tools that can look up, you know, traffic for those keywords and search volume and things like that. So those are the type of keywords you want to try to get on your page. The second thing are the citations. And this right here, we call it the Google Map Pack. Typically, you're going to have some ads up here, and then you're going to have the map, and then you're going to have your organic searches. Because of some plugins that I have on this computer for what I do, they move my ads to the bottom most of the time, but I don't actually even see any ads showing up on here. But you want to take up as much space on this first page as you can. Back to citations. A citation is your business name, address, phone number, listed on multiple directories across the internet. There's Merchant Circle, Better Business Bureau, Yellow Pages, Yelp. There's hundreds of thousands of those directories out there. And you want to get your information in as many of them as you can. We have a tool called WhiteSpark that we use. Um, it's currently showing that you have 23. Portage has 11. And Kalamazoo has 13. So you're doing good on the citations. But these guys are actually showing up in the map pack. And part of that is Google gives them a little extra power because they are also on this home page. So... We want to get you on the home page and then we want to get you into the map pack or the first page, not necessarily the home page. But 
like I said, the citations, just get in as many of those directories as you can. You can literally push this number up into the hundreds. And, you know, we can push it into the hundreds within a couple of weeks, but it, it just takes time. You know, it's a lot of digging to find those, um, find those directories, sign up for them, get your information put in there. So it's totally doable. It just takes time. But we want to get you right here in this map pack. The third thing that we talk about are the backlinks. Currently, you're showing for 40. A backlink is any site that points back to your website. Some of your citations will give you backlinks. Another way to get backlinks is to go out and find, you know, find blogs about pressure washing or gutter cleaner or roof cleaning, whatever. You know, read up on some of those articles that are in there and then post a, you know, post a comment about it, but, you know, make it a relevant comment to the article that you're reading. Don't just go in there and post, Hey, this is who I am. Come to my site and put your website in there. But, you know, some of those blogs will give you backlinks. You know, if we look over here, these guys have 26. These guys have 1,640. You know, and we can actually see what those are. But Google makes it a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the better. You know, they think that you're more relevant, more people like you. So they send more people to your page. But we can actually go in here and see where they're getting their backlinks from and go to those same pages and try to get a backlink for you. So we call it the copycat method. You know, we find the guy with the most backlinks, go in there and try to copy all of his and then find you some more. But as you can see, some of these are the directories. You know, he's in, in the BBB. He's got yellow pages multiple times on here in different, you know, different locations. And, but that's how the citation or the backlinks work. You know, we want to get you as many backlinks as we can get. So as kind of a quick overview, you're looking at content, 1,000 to 1,500 words on your homepage, 500 to 750 on your back pages. Citations, go out and get in as many of those directories as you can get into. And then the backlinks, like I said, your citations will help with those. But you also want to go out, find some of those blog comments. You know, if you've got business owner friends in the area that may recommend you, you know, they might be able to put a link back to you on their website. You know, just anything you can do to get relevant websites pointing back at your website is going to give you more authority and more power with Google. If you've got any questions, need any help, feel free to call me, 210-383-8401, or shoot me a message on Facebook. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.